T, full week of NFL is behind us. And the typical NFL shit has already started. What you mean? Because, because T, you know, NFL is different from any of these other sports. Okay. Basketball got so many games. Okay. So many games. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, college football, folks, unless you just went to their school or something like that and you know somebody that went to your rival school, folks don't be as passionate. You know what I'm saying? It, okay. it, if you know somebody from a rival school, then shit get real then. If yeah. you're talking to a Jack State all corn motherfucker, if you're talking to an old Miss State motherfucker, shit get real then. But okay. outside of that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it ain't like that. But when it comes to this NFL, mm-hmm. every man got a team. Supposed to. Supposed to. Mm-hmm. And it's once a week. It's eventful. So yeah. you know motherfuckers going to come in hot. One game. Mm-hmm. One game. Mm-hmm. He said it twice. Real high pitch, by the way. Everybody got an opinion off one game. Mm-hmm. And so we see how everybody going left, everybody going right off one motherfucking game already. But that's what the NFL, the NFL, Roger Goodell sitting around, he be loving it. He loves I it. I got him. Because he know this, it's week one. He know I got, I got more weeks. I got 18 weeks this year. He know the, he know the NFL is general hospital. He know it. Boom. He know. Boom. I, my, my mom and them, my mom and my grandma watched them CBS soap operas. So it's, it's, uh, as the world turns, world it's got damn young and the restless. Young and it's the restless. old and the beautiful, yep. God and light. It's all them ones. That's fine. You, it's fine. real soap opera. Same thing. Same thing. It's so popular. Mm-hmm. And so you already know mm-hmm. how motherfuckers going to be overreacting. Mm-hmm. You got some folks that saw week one and saying they team finna win the ship. Mm. You got some folks that lost week one and saying, oh my God, we fucking trash. Mm-hmm. That's how it is, man. Mm-hmm. But before, before I kick it to you, I just want to address Go ahead. some of yeah. these motherfuckers. I got time today. That didn't hit up my phone. Let me tell you something. Come America, I know y'all go do the same thing. You have motherfuckers hit up your phone and shit like that when your team lose. You know what I'm talking about? I'm down here in Mississippi. I'm probably the only black uh, uh, Green Bay Packer fan that many motherfuckers know. You understand? Not true. I found another one, but go ahead. He's a good man. Tell that brother he is a good man. I will talk to you about him off camera. Okay, bet. For most people I know, I'm the only Green Bay Packer fan they know. And yes, we got our ass whooped this weekend. Yes, yes, we did. We got our ass fucking whooped this weekend. Aaron Rodgers looked like the motherfucker that did not want to be at work. He, you know how American, you know when you go to work and, and you go on to work and, and you know you got bills to pay. So that's why you went to work. But you really right. don't want to be in that motherfucker. You right. really don't want to be in that motherfucker. Right. So you clock in. Or it's like, you know, remember how Bernie Mac and the Kings of Comedy said, I ain't come here to work today. Yep. That's how Aaron played. Hmm. Aaron ain't coming that bitch to work. Aaron does not want to be there. You understand? Aaron does not want to be there. And if Aaron does not want to be there, we get our ass kicked. Because I keep telling folks we ain't like that. That's why I hold that boy in such high esteem. Because he been... I got Devontae Adams, true enough. But your ass can roll coverage to Devontae Adams and I ain't got nobody else that can separate. I ain't got nobody else. Motherfucker been talking about Aaron Jones. Y'all been listening to Skip Bayless motherfucking ass because Aaron Jones does well against a sorry ass cowboy defense. Aaron Jones ain't no damn Derrick Henry. He's not Christian McCaffrey. Stop that shit. Okay. If Aaron Rodgers not play well, we gonna get our ass kicked, especially against a good ass team like the Saints. But I can respect Nakeem Liddell hitting up my phone. He a real Saints fan. I can I can respect Lil Air from hitting my phone. He a real Saints fan. Yeah. I can respect Dominique James hitting my phone. He a real Saints fan. What yeah. I cannot respect. What that? Is a motherfucker like Brandon Weatherspoon hitting my phone. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking cowboy fan. America, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you have somebody who who they team is fucking trash and they hit your phone, they team take a L as well. Mm. And they still hit your fucking phone. Mm. They team ain't won a Super Bowl during his lifetime. He he hit your phone. You been through mm. that, America? Mm. I cannot respect a motherfucker like Anthony Carlisle mm. to hit my motherfucking phone. Mm-hmm. And this son bitch got three teams. 
Now, Preaching. like my brother Tim G. Jacob just said, every man in America got an NFL team. It's just like NFL. one of those things. It's a right of it's a right of passage. Mm -hmm. But you need to be in a monogamous relationship with that. You team. need to be monogamous, don't it? Tim? You got to be monogamous. <laughs> it can't be polygamy around this thing. You understand this motherfucker a polygamist with the NFL. No, partner. America, do y'all do you, America? Do y'all tell us in the comments? Say, do y'all have partners? Who are polygamous when it comes to this NFL? Mm, they like some of everybody. This motherfucker Anthony Carlisle mm -hmm. claims this when you know when y'all went to the Super Bowl T, he was down with y'all then. What? Yeah, he was down with y'all. When the Eagles won the Super Bowl, he said we won the Super Bowl. When the Giants won the Super Bowl, he claimed Eli won Eli. He loved Eli. Eli first battle Hall of Fame. Eli the GOAT in his book. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of motherfucker I be dealing with America. That's the kind of shit I go through. And I know y'all go through the same shit. That's what the NFL do to people. Ooh. That's why Roger Goodell be getting broke off like that. Because he know that's what the NFL do to me. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And it's just week one. It's just week one. Mm -hmm. T, I know how I feel about my goddamn team and how they stunk up the place. Like I said, Aaron did not want to be there. I had no running game. I had no Lattimore. You a bad motherfucker, cuz. Yeah, he paid dude. He didn't do it. You a bad man. motherfucker, Lattimore. Lattimore's a good dude. Lattimore can ball. Kamara, Kamara, you a bad motherfucker, cuz. Everybody talking about Jameis in the five touchdown. I fuck with Jameis. You know what I'm talking about? I used to be a Florida State fan when Jameis was there. Cool. Jameis threw for 148 yards, man. They ran that motherfucking ball like a bitch. Kamara, you a bad motherfucker, dog. He's the reason I won me a fantasy title right there. AK. So I know how I feel about that game. T, how'd you feel about week one overall, dog? What, what were some of your thoughts? So here's where I'm at week one. Three of the teams in my division beat their opponents handedly. One didn't. I'll give you a guess who that was. <laughs> As well as we lost most of it for six to eight weeks. Clay. Um talk about Jason Clay contributing to put it on some people. So so we got we got that gone. Uh Brandon Ayuk, he was missing in action. Whatever that situation was, I don't really know. So that's my that's that's the fandom reaction. Now, in general. I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit. I'm gonna go a little bit to the south. I'm gonna go south. I'm gonna go south of the country. Put some respect on Houston just for one game. Because what I saw was a team in Houston that basically said, "You know what? I get that there's a lot of stuff around us, but Tyrod Taylor said, you know what? The last time you motherfuckers checked for me, I was sitting behind Baker because I couldn't." elevate the offense and then i come back to a team that is in shambles living in a fucking hovel as my partner would like to throw out there from time to time <laughs> and 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 just just roll a team in jacksonville who's got the coach of all coaches in urban meyer and the number one draft pick in trevor lawrence who my brother jojo has said is a bust and they rake them boys. Now, I ain't say rape. I didn't put a p on it. I said rake. They rake them. Leaves on rake into shovel, into barrel, burn them up. That's what happened. That's what we got. <laughs> that's just one thing. Oh. They Listen, that's why I didn't put no money on that game. That's why, America, you don't put money on that game. When you go to the boat and bet, don't bet them kind of games where you don't know about either one of them teams. Don't do that. That's not smart. I don't think we need to like sleep on the Saints. I've been telling people don't sleep on the Saints. They still got a very, very good defense, obviously. They still got Alvin Kamara, and they still got one of the best play calls in the game in Sean Payton. And again, you might look around and go, well, there ain't no Drew Brees, there ain't no Michael Thomas, there ain't no Jared Cook, no Emmanuel Sanders. I get it. But this is a guy that has made household names out of people that wasn't household names once they left. Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. We we cut him. Green Taysom Bay Hill. Packers, we got rid of. Oh, you, okay. All right. All right. And then and then you got names like a Marquise Colston, uh, 
all that. You name it. They there. So we're not going to disrespect that. They, there's this team, the Saints have planned with pride, and Jameis even talked about that. It's basically, granted, amongst what's going on in New Orleans in terms of Hurricane Ida and, and other things in terms of what they're dealing with down there, he basically said we did this for the city. But that's just what New Orleans is. New Orleans is one of those, those towns that players, when they go down there, they feel the culture. They feel the vibe. They understand that the Saints mean everything to the populace down there in New Orleans. So you got to you gotta come with it. And so Jameis understands that. So even if Jameis threw for 148 yards and five touchdowns, hey, Green Bay ain't one supposed to, that wasn't supposed to happen against Green Bay. That wasn't supposed to happen against Green Bay. So great win by the Saints. 49ers, y'all, y'all, y'all got some explaining to do to me, but that's off camera. Uh, Houston, I thought was impressive because I really am pulling for Tyrod even more now than ever. I'm pulling for Tyrod because this is a place where, okay, game to game. All right, this is a guy that brought took the Bills to the playoffs pre Josh Allen. He did that. Don't nobody give Tyrod Taylor any credit for doing that. He did that. This was a guy that went to Cleveland. Did I mean Tyrod has been the consummate professional no matter where he stopped? Buffalo, Cleveland, wherever he's been the consummate professional. What you asked of him, he gave you. This is a year right here where Houston, on paper, offensively, their team ain't terrible, the team is not terrible. It's going to be a basis upon what David Culley does for them as the head coach and what these guys do offensively. The defense is going to be the defense because ain't nobody got no real trill defense like that in the NFL. Anybody can be cooked in the NFL. Let's just go and get that out the way. I don't know. I don't know, T. Anybody can be cooked in the NFL. Who, who you on? Who you I don't know when. Who you, who you saying? That Bucks defense look good. That Rams defense look good. You got to see them round. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. How many points did the Bucks defense give up this past Thursday? Okay. I I I, I just need a number. That's to uh that's to a hell of a that's to arguably the best receiving core. Now I'm I'm gonna say the Bucks got the best receiving core. That's mm-hmm. to probably the second best receiving core in the league. Okay, 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 all right, all right. How that, many that, points? How many points did the Rams give up against the Bears? Oh, you had to you had to check ten mil now. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. That's why we do what we do here and put it on some. They gave up fourteen against the Bears, but I don't. I don't necessarily you know, think that in our defense. And they, and they our were division, number one in scoring. They were number one in scoring defense last year. Our division, our division. Because remember, your division right now has nobody with a win. Okay, my division has four teams with a win, so we're the polar opposite. But at the end of the day, though, when we we match up, styles make fights. I've said last, I said last week, we got the Rams number. We got their number. Did you have a number when they made the Super Bowl? We swept them last year. I I have to go back. Last year we swept them. That was last they did not year. beat us. They did not beat us with the okay. guy Jimmy Garoppolo that you said was a top 15, 20 quarterback. The Saints swept the Buccaneers last year and then went on to win the Super Bowl. And they foamed the third time, and we all know what happens when you fight see a team third time. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I agree. So it ain't, it ain't necessarily that the boy got the same defense, and now they got Matthew Stafford. <laughs> the child just going to whoop them boy like that. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep plugging in me and you at the backfield because we can get them numbers. Them same numbers in that in that just Shanahan zone scheme, we can get them. See there. Uh, Kyler Murray and them boys is coming. They coming. Put some respect on the Steelers' name because Mike Tomlin is their coach. No, oh, you that. didn't talk to one. No, nah. talk to your young boy. You embraced him. You I, adopted him. Your young boy, Dylan Smith, one of our oh, viewers. 
Shout out uh Dylan Smith, one yep. of our uh Lord yep. viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he won't he won't he sent me some shit from Colin Cowherd. Yeah, criticizing the Steelers yet again after a fucking victory. After victory. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say. That is true. What he's saying from Coward is true in a way. They got to do a little bit better on offense. They're not going to be able to get that every week. Defense is there. Special teams did a great job, block, and a score. That's great. They got to do it better. Offensively, they told me the Pittsburgh Steelers offense looked different and will look improved against it in the NFL based upon their new the changes they made. I think they got a new OC. So, again, don't put a lot of stock in week one. This is week one. Your no, ones like, didn't we, start. We, Your no. ones didn't start throughout the preseason. They didn't NFL, go. Bro. I was saying that NFL folks are passionate about I it. I know. I know. It's but, once a week. You're but, gonna be able to talk about it all week. You ain't gonna. You, you team you play again. Folks just feel some type of way. The about expectations it. are so much higher because this is your squad. You know, it's just it's just it's so different from college. It's just your expectations are so through the roof. But it, but even you know, but uh, like I'm saying to OT, too with basketball. Let's say it's my Lakers lost, like like the Packers did lost. Let's say my Lakers got drugged on opening day against somebody. The, the the day after, they might play, and you get that taste out your mouth. But you gotta blame. But you gotta blame Doctor Bus. You gotta blame that culture. The culture. You you just cursed by the culture. The culture says. Every night that the Lakers are roll, if the Lakers are winning, that's the no, coach. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, unlike basketball, mm -hmm. football don't have the luxury of being able to get that taste out their mouth. Boom, like that. Yeah, that's right. I got, to, I got to wait all the way to Monday night next week mm -hmm. for us to try to get that taste out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. so that's gonna be. Every single day, you can ask Skip Bayless. You finna have whoever Stephen A. Smith bring on. You finna have a uh, uh, Bucket Brooks. You finna have whoever's supposed to be a, a Aaron Rodgers hater. They finna come out and say, "Oh, he 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 checked out. It's over with for this season." It is week fucking one. I agree. And you know what? That you know what you know what some of them will say to you, including me. Just get you some double mint. Get that taste out your mouth. Get you chew that, chew that up, chew that. Right. Up. Because that's that's just. You already know what's coming. You know when it comes to Skip. This man poo-pooed a year in which Aaron didn't throw over five interceptions. The year he, the year that was struggling, he, the, the year before his MVP year, this man was secure with the ball, safe, and he was ridiculed for that. So here again, let me let me explain this to my put it on some fans. That's why you should listen to us, because right. at the end of the day. What man on this panel is going to say that Aaron Rodgers did not play well in a season in which he threw for 31 touchdowns and four or five interceptions? Who's going to say that? As a coach or as a as an NFL mind, we're going to want that. That's ball security. That's being smart. That's being heady. What did you think about Dak and the Cowboys team? Uh, I know, I know they lost. They lost. Hold on, hold on, back up. What do you think about Tom and them squeaking by them? And they then didn't tell me what you they, didn't, they didn't squeak by you know what it was. Toward you know, OPI? you know, I say that wasn't no OPI. I say that was OPI. Too. That wasn't no OPI. See, that was OPI. No OPI. That boy was slipping. That boy was slipping Man. and falling, and he couldn't get up. God that bless. Was a Tom God bless. Brady special. God bless Earl Simmons. That was a Tom. All right. That boy was slipping. That was a Tom Brady specialty. That boy was slipping and falling. That boy was sliding. That son did, bitch got pushed. Did you hear? Me. Did you hear Cupid or Electric Slide when that boy was falling? I, heard I saw something. Shake them haters off. He got pushed. And one. That boy didn't get pushed. Many receivers have done the same thing. And it be and again. Cold. And again, you already know. You said it probably when you were watching it. It's too I much did. time. No, it's too much time. I said Tom Brady. Okay, okay then. So why am I explaining to you this OPI when you already know when the GOAT get the ball back in the hands, the self-proclaim, the, the TV media said he's the GOAT. When they said he's the GOAT, what you want me to say? How you want me to argue that? 
I got something to say about that moment. Oh, it's coming soon. It's coming. It's coming soon. I got it. Momentarily. I got it. But but again, OPI or not, Tom put it where it need to be. And again, it was a great throw. It was a great throw. It was a great throw. Great throw. It's a great throw. So uh I feel I feel this way about Dallas against um against the rest of the NFC East. Did, did they did they exceed your expectation? No, this is what I expected. Hmm. You expected them to look good against the Bucks? Yes. Because oh. they don't have a secondary. I do not respect the Buccaneers secondary. Okay. You know, like like again, let's let's remember now. Okay. I, I didn't know. Oh, that. Let's 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 go back. I, I I know I didn't know that you well well expected them to do. Well, I want I wanted to expand. I wanted to a bit. So we saw the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. right? Chiefs Bucks. What you had was trash O line. Well, depleted O line. I ain't gonna say trash, but depleted O line against strong front seven. Ain't nobody talking about that secondary. So, as I like to put it, if you can get home before the street light come on, because see, the street light is the secondary. If the street light ain't came on in the secondary, then Mahomes gonna do what he do. But the street light was always coming on be- before Mahomes could get home. Mm-hmm. So therefore, it's simple for them boys to, to to wrap him up and put him down or beat him to sleep. He had no protection. So here again, Kansas City went out. Sign some guys. The de- the old line's gonna get better, and then we'll just find out if they see each other again. Is this Ali Frazier two or what? Because we all know what happened in one, and we know what happened in two. So what what's what's up? That's where we at. Okay. Well, America, y'all t- chime in and tell us what y'all thought about Week One in the NFL. First of all, check in and declare your motherfucking team. Don't Thank be you. like don't be like Anthony Carlisle. Please. Check in, tell us who your team is, and tell us what's going on in your soap opera with your football team. Because I know I got a whole soap opera over here with my goddamn football team. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? We over Put- here party walking on the lines. <laughs> then they Put say, you know, we about to catch that cold ale. Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com, and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.